It's Ryan Bessex with DSX Motorsports, and today we're going to start working on this engine, actually assembling the long block. As you can see here, we've got the long block that Keith built from Ohio for us. It's an EJ207 block, thick wall, and um, high compression 2 1 stroker. So we're going to start working on putting this thing together and I'll show you some of the parts that we're going to use to do it. So this is our two liter long block, thick wall, higher compression pistons. I believe it's like nine, six to one. We are running fancier head gaskets. So you'll see that the head gaskets probably lower the compression just a little bit. Um, this thing has stock STI rods in it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what model it's from, but um, it has uh, ARP uh, 2000 rod bolt hardware. Everything's been has been balanced, and the rotating assembly, well, the whole rotating assembly has been balanced to a tenth of a gram. So both the big end and the small end. Um, you can see that it's a it's, it's a crank from before they were nitriding them and before all the extra treatment. So this is a, a high grade crank. You got some RCM extreme studs, RCM adjustable exhaust cam gears that are steel. We've got an RCM dry sump. We've got Athena. Now these are these fancy head gaskets that I recommend to everybody. And these are basically kind of like a carbon fiber or some kind of composite here. And then this is a stainless steel ceiling ring. And it's kind of like, gives you the effect of like an O-ring block without having to do all the extra machinery, machining. And um, of course an OEM water pump. A water pump normally comes with the uh, kit from RCM. Uh, I had to buy another one since I used that one on the 206 before we went to Coda. There is the um, uh, new AVCS intake gears. Crazy expensive for some reason. STI Kevlar timing belt, which probably isn't going to go on today. Um, GSC stage two cams. IAG alternator relocation kit to move it to the driver's side. And then assortment of extra gaskets and stuff. So this is pretty much what we're going to use to put this together. The goal for today is to get the engine assembled enough so that I can actually start measuring the, the gap on the heads or for the cams. And, um, but, and then we'll kind of be in a holding pattern until we get a couple more custom pieces made, um, hopefully from Roger Clark Motorsports. All right, so time to keep me honest. So let's start with the 15. I already have my torque wrench set up. Or I'll start with the 22. I already have my torque wrench set up. And so we're gonna start with, I'm gonna keep this little cheater diagram here just in case. The upper, the intake middle. So obviously we need to, there we go. First time using these bad chickens. All right, and then the middle center exhaust. Nice. And then the third one is going to be the upper intake towards the front of the engine. All right. And then the next one is going to be the lower exhaust in the back. All 
right, and then back to the front exhaust. See? And then ending on the back intake. So that was our first torque up. Next one is 51 foot pounds, so let me set that there. So this one's gonna be a little bit higher on the, the Torx wrench here. This one will go, go to 80, but we're gonna start, we're gonna get our 51 in on this one. So again, intake, middle. All right, and this one. Okay, and then the third one is the top intake. And then the fourth one is the lower exhaust. Okay, and then the fifth one is the front exhaust. And then the last one is the upper intake. I'm just gonna go through here and just double tap these just real quick. So you're getting a little bit of movement out of it, but nothing super crazy. Just want to make sure we're all good. And this will help me practice my sequence in here. Okay, so now that that's done, now we're going to go and loosen them in sequence 180 degrees. So in sequence, we'll start here at 180 degrees. Man, this is awkward. Hundred eighty. Hundred eighty. Please up here. Hundred eighty. And then at this hundred eighty, you can feel that it's actually just. You can tell it's completely slack. So it's not like there's still tension on it. You can just. I think if. Like right there, still tension, still tension, and then you can tell it really loosens up right there at the last 10 or 15 degrees. All right, so now we're gonna go back in, torque them all back up to 15 foot-pounds to start, so we'll go back to a small torque wrench again. 20, 15. Walk this thing in. Super light. And three is up here. And four is back there. And then five is across. And then six is diagonal. All right, now we go to 30. Back diagonal. I'm just going to give them a quick little double tap just to make sure. I don't feel anything moving as far as coming back up off a of torque. I know that was one of the things. Oh, right down here. I know that was one of the things that uh, we noticed torquing down some heads before with Aaron is that sometimes it gets a little bit of torque up still. Like you can feel it moving or slipping a little bit. Now that we got those double tapped at 30, now let's ship up to 60. 
And I'm going to step up to a, a, a half inch torque wrench here. Okay. And just double check I have it at 60, and I do. And we'll start. You can see me grunting now. Always makes me nervous. There it is. All right, then up here. See, so I can feel that one relax a little bit. check practice my little torque sequence see we're not really getting any any movement out of these things all right after 60 then we go all the way up to our final torque of 90 This is a real gut buster here. Okay. 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 All right, I'm just gonna let that relax for a second. Let me catch my breath. And I'll just go through and double tap it just to make sure everything is good. And then once it's double tapped, we'll just loosely get the cam set in there so that the buckets don't go spilling out. And then we'll flip this engine over and do everything over again. All right, get my leg back in it. All right, no movement. The tiniest bit of movement. No movement. No movement. No movement. And just the tiniest bit. And that's it. That's the uh, RCM 1540 Extreme Studs. We call them the 11 millimeter Extreme Stud Kit. So. I'll get right now the the position of the pistons is kind of in the middle, so they're in a in a safe spot for me to toss those little cams in there, and then um, and just to hold the buckets. I want to take a quick uh, 60 seconds to talk about these head gaskets. So these are the Athena head gaskets. These are kind of like you can kind of see like a fiber reinforced or carbon fiber um, gasket. And then you can see that it's basically has an extruded ring all the way around it. It's also got these, this, and but this is the part that really makes it really badass. These are drop in stainless steel rings you can see that there is a cut, like a biting side, and then, let me see if I can show you, a smooth side. So the smooth side will go towards the block. And then the, the biting edge, or the cutting edge, or whatever you wanna call it, will go towards the head. And I just, I've had good, I've tried all kinds of different head gaskets. We've had all kinds of different failures. And so, not related to head gaskets, but taking the engines apart, you can see compression breaching and stuff. And these ones I ran on my 2.3 and where was, there was no compression breaching. So I super, super like it. And I think it does a kick-ass job. 
And I think that mixed with the studs, it's gonna really make for an awesome product. Alright guys, so we got the heads bolted on, we got the studs in and the head gaskets, but I think that's all we're going to be able to do today. So we're going to wrap it up and um, definitely give these parts a review. Um, and in review, we're using an EJ207 block, EJ207 heads, that's we're using the Athena from SCE head gaskets, they're with the uh, stainless steel ring. Uh, we're gonna put in GSC cams, but we still have a ways to go before we get that far. And we got, oh, the RCM uh, Extreme Power Studs. So that's what you watched us do today. And uh, stay tuned as we get more of this stuff on the motor and off this table. Sunglasses now. Find my way, find my way to the sun.